Do not touch God's anointed. This is a warning. People are messing with you and they don't realize when they mess with you, they are messing with God. A lot of the times you'll be picked on unnecessarily. You'll be chosen out of the crowd for people to do you wrong. That is because you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. And what people don't realize is that by messing with you, they have just sealed their doom. People choose to pick on you because there's something inside of you that they don't understand, but they can see that makes them upset. They make them angry. It's because you are the light. When they see you, you reflect all the darkness that is inside of them. People will be kind to everybody else but you. And that is because God has something for you. And these people who walk around with lives of godlessness, basically, they walk around in deception. They walk around in darkness. When you walk in a room, they can't stand it. That is why you are not chosen for opportunities. That is why it's hard for you to find a relationship. That is why every time you go out, people come up to you and they try to do something to irritate you. That is because they can see that you are special. The Bible says, touch not my anointed. And what I want you to do is know that vengeance is of the Lord. God is going to repay these people, but he's not going to repay them in the way that you think. He wants everyone to come to repentance. So by messing with you, he's giving and he's giving them an opportunity to find him. Because what is going to go on in their life is going to be so horrible. They can only pray to God for help. You are a vessel for God to use for people to turn from their ways. And that is because when evil messes with evil, God doesn't care. That's all fair. But when you mess with somebody who is good, who has good intentions, who is pure, then God can say, okay, now I can intercede on this. Now I can become a part of this. Now I can do to that person what I need them to go through so they become more aware that I am real. A lot of people don't believe in God. A lot of people have been getting away with many evil things for a long time, but when they come and run into you and they do you wrong, that was their last chance. God sent you into that space so that he could intercede. Because when people do evil to other people who are doing evil, God doesn't have a part of that. But you, because you're kind, because you mind your business, because you have good intentions, and people still want to do you wrong, then God can say, okay, I see you. You want to mess with somebody who is chosen by me? You want to mess with me, basically, because God is inside of you? God is going to repay them. And God is going to elevate you. So make sure when something happens to you, do not respond in the way that they want you to respond. People want to bring you down to their level. You must be kind. You must be disciplined. Because remember, Jesus dealt with it too. Jesus dealt with people persecuting him. And he was the son of God. He was innocent of sin. And people still hated on him. So with you, you're going to go through the same thing. That is what it means to be like Christ. That means to be a good person and receive things that you don't necessarily deserve. But just know that God is using it for your good. Everything that happens to you is for your good. You will look back at every situation and realize you won. And these people, they're going to they're gonna suffer. But pray for them. Because God doesn't want anyone to suffer. You have to love these people. People have childhoods that are unfortunate. People go through so many things that turn them into unbelievers to people who love evil but you can't be like them you must stay who you are the reason why good things happen to you is because of your heart because of the lightness because of the joy you have because of your kindness keep being kind this is 2024 and things are happening that have not happened before this is a new year god is real Remember, God is real and he has your back. Do not let these evil people turn you from who you are. Be kind, be gracious, and realize that you will never lose with God as your best friend.